Thank you. Greetings, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, present in room and online. Permit me to align with existing protocol. Um, and thank you for the opportunity to tell my whisker story. <clears throat> I encountered a whisker sometime early last year, 2020, in the person of um, Madame um, Odwayo Sawyer. And my experience with her, as I spoke to her as a executive in what she was doing and her attitude towards me and my very lofty um, aspirations, inspired me to keep an eye on Whisker and Whisker's activities. Over time, I realized that the opportunity to join the Whisker Win 3 program opened up sometime early this year. I looked at the portfolio of what was in, um, I mean, I looked at the profiles that the Whisker Win 3 program was offering, which was they were looking for women who were interested to step up, show up, participate and change the narrative at C-suit and board level. And I wanted to put up my hand. What's my little personal story? An engineering graduate who as of 2007 was part of the exciting career of building the infrastructure of telecom in this across the continent of Africa since 2005. But what is my personal differentiating story? 2007, due to glaucoma, I lost my vision. What did I get when I went up to my line manager, having been a well brought up um, girl from home, whereby you do not abandon your duty post, but you go there and you ask for who do you um, hand over to so that the organization who had identified me for leadership was not going to have wasted all the investment in this um, leader that they had in pipe. What I encountered in my line manager was not just a he for she, but a disability inclusive person who did not understand why I was saying I wanted to walk away, but rather asked me, are you not interested in your job? With that, I was empowered to continue in my career for another 11 years, working as an expatriate, leading ultimately over 11 years managing 15 countries in Africa as a competence center leader. That meant that life happening to me was not going to give me an excuse to be my best and to do my best. So, but I am sure as all of us mentees know, there are not too many safe spaces where you can move to your next level. So in my looking around, I applied, I participated in the interview. It was very interesting. I got accepted and I'm one of the privileged 11 of the Win3 second cohort C-suite board readiness program against all odds. Myself and all our other mentees um, um, have experienced amazing women who have been authentic, who have told their stories. They've helped us to see that they are human and they've bent over backwards to make sure that we get it. I would speak about my session with Madame Toki, my mentor, who in two hours that she committed out of her busy schedule. Honestly, we started on Zoom, we jumped to WhatsApp. In the end, she had to call my line directly just so that we would have a robust session. And that is the kind of commitment you get from the mentors at Whisker. I stand here as a Whisker mentee who's so challenged to do the best. And I'd like to ask, that all mentees in the room, please stand up. Join me and stand up, all mentees in the room. Everyone who has finished their program, anyone who is already going through a program, every mentee that aspires to join the amazing program on Whisker, and anyone who's listening and watching online, stand up too. What have we heard? And I will quote the words of our amazing founder, who always refers to her three C's of competence, capacity, and what's the third one? Character, competence, capacity, character. We don't have an excuse. They have paid it forward in us. We are all standing now to 
show them that we're going to meet them more than halfway and we're going to do our own part in paying it forward. We're committed, we're ready to do this. We will play big and we are ready to take our place. Thank you.